Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and we have done it. And by we, I mean a couple of different people suggested how to do this. We were trying to figure out, somebody off Facebook, Epilogue's Facebook fan page, I believe it was, was trying to figure out how to make a text with just one line hairlines. And I couldn't ever figure it out, and somebody, one of my subscribers, and he's helped me before and he helped me again and I'm very thankful for him and if you want to go to the one of the videos you can actually read his comments but what he what you do and I just happen to pick Arial I don't know that's my default I don't know what other fonts would work but Arial definitely works so go to have your font selected go to bitmap convert to bitmap black and white Hit OK. It convert it to a bitmap, and then I'm going to go trace bitmap, centerline trace, line drawing. Take just a second, and there it is. As always, it's it's on top. Now it's it's traced it at, at 0.500 point, and we need to go hairline, and we will make it red. Now, it is not perfect, but that would already work. But you could go to Object, Ungroup, go your Shape Tool, cut away these couple of nodes that are extra. And as you can see on the T, it's a little indented right there, which really wouldn't kill you. Uh, and maybe another font would work just as good. So let's Let's go to the top of that T. Let's grab our shape tool. Let's encompass all that and let's turn it into a line. And then we can get rid of these nodes. Now it's going downhill a little bit so you could, you know, you can straighten that out. And uh, voila, it could be a little straighter. But there you go. And I think what he was doing it for, somebody off Facebook, wanted to be able to vector engrave this, which is being me cutting it really fast. If you, you know, he's, he's marking something, he wants to do it fast. It's just something maybe does on the bottom or the back of something. Uh, just for instance, well, you're not gonna engrave this. This is 14 inches long, made it big for the video. But I guarantee this would probably take seven, eight, 10 minutes to engrave where I guarantee this would probably cut in less than 20 seconds. And, and that's just a guess. But and with that, and if you don't understand that, it's uh, you're using the vector. So you're trying to cut it, but you adjust your speed and your power so it doesn't cut all the way through. If it's a real piece, piece of thick wood, it wouldn't cut through it all the way. But if you're doing some eighth inch plywood, you don't want to cut all the way through it. So you can kind of do a test and just mark it. And as in another video I have, and if you want to watch that, it's it's uh, engraving with vector. You can actually take it out of focus um, about a quarter of an inch or possibly three-eighths of an inch. And it will actually shoot a beam that's about as wide as that. But it's going to do it a lot faster instead of, you know, dot matrix printing the vector or the, the raster, it's going to just zoom, zoom, zoom and do this in 10 or 20 seconds. Anyway, I hope that helped. I'm glad it we finally solved the mystery and thank you for watching.